He sat up here and stole from a 16-year-old kid. Have you no shame? I mean, aren't you embarrassed? This bum stole my 16-year-old son's dog. He stole from a kid. I couldn't what? believe it, especially somebody I dated. I couldn't believe this. Why would you, why would you take the dog if it's for the boy? Heartless. The dog was under the assumption that the they're... dog was under the. I mean, excuse me, the son. Yeah. <laughs> this, I'm sorry. Bring the, the dog. Son, here. Right. The okay. son was under the assumption that the dog uh, apparently belonged to him because the dog was at the house and he became really adapted to the dog and comfortable with the dog and he well, just started to believe that the dog actually belonged belonged to him. But what it a didn't. joke! Did you live there? No. But the dog was there. The dog was there. Um, well, if the dog is there and the kid thinks, what a bum. Well, the 16 year old thinks it's his dog, I mean, just you let the kid have the dog. Miss Height and I lived on the same avenue. I lived in an apartment yes. while we were dating. Yes. And uh, I spent most of my time at her house. I wasn't allowed to have pets at my house. I see. So while the dog was at her house, the son of hers, you know, got attached to the dog and suddenly believed that. You know, the dog he stole was his the dog. or whatever. But the dog belongs to me. You're lying. I am the dog uh, owner. Yeah. Um, and Andrea, what you paid for the dog is, I think in the suit it says here, $300. Yes. And then there were vet bills involved. The vet bills came along when the defendant, which lived in a home, he lived, he lived with me, being yeah. the man of the house, he called and what he did was make the appointment for the dog to get the shots. I, I was going to pay for them, but he just made the appointment. Unbeknownst to me, when we got there, um, when you make an appointment, it's not that they just get the dog and you get the, you, know, you get the bill right then and there. You have to make an account. Mr. Bentley put his name on the account as the owner, unbeknownst to me at the time. But still, I took the dog, and when we, picked it, we took the dog and got the shots. I paid $145 for shots, then I paid $181. Okay, and, and we have evidence that. I, uh, take, I've taken the dog for shots. I've given it. Uh, booster shots, rabies shots. I had it uh, registered with the um, Stone Ridge uh, Veterinary Stone Ridge. Animal Hospital. How long was mm -hmm. the dog with them? A couple of months. And how long since then, since this all happened, has the dog been with you? It's been with me for four months, four or five months. Okay. You know, I've had Chopper, here's a photo yeah. of Chopper and I. I've had Chopper since... He stole them. He, he stole was, the dog. Uh, I caught him cheating. He stole since the dog. Since he was a puppy. And you have the papers uh, saying that, showing that the dog. Yeah, I have. Owner. I have documentations here. All the medical records that uh, that are on Chopper the dog has my name on there as a sole owner of uh, Chopper. It because says, he made right the account. Right there, Shaquille yeah. Bentley. Owner. I understand. I, I, so you you are officially the owner of the dog. Yes. Yes. But, I went and paid for the dog. I brought it. Well. Yeah. Okay, that's a separate issue. Okay. He sat up here and stole from a 16-year-old kid. Have you no shame? I mean, aren't you embarrassed? I mean, this is it's ridiculous, because you just, there's a special place in hell from people that steal from kids, period. In fact, uh, she wasn't the one that paid for the dog. I paid for the dog. And yes, uh, we went to a illegal breeder, and I gave him $140 for Chopper. Oh. And um, we brought the dog home, and I took care of the dog the whole entire time. I gave him his uh, vet shots. Uh, this is ridiculous. Fed him. Is ridiculous. I took care of him. I'm sorry. While she was at work all day, I was there with Chopper taking care of him. While You're her lying. son was He's in lying. school, I was the one there taking care of Chopper, taking care of the house, so where did you cleaning get the, money the house. From? You didn't even have a job. So where'd you get the money from to buy the dog for? Where'd you get the money then? Because you didn't have no job. I, I, where'd you get it? So you're not the owner of the dog. I am the I have the Texas from the person I purchased them from, what it's for and who it's for and everything. Right All here. Right. Okay. The right vet here. says owner. She can't take care of the dog okay. like I can. All right. Well, I have evidence as well to from start to finish. I'm not sure if you have exhibit A. I need a boy for my son. His birthday is February 21st. Please call me, please. And if you see, it says February 20th on there. I bought this dog, and as you go down and read more, it's my phone number to contact me. It's for my son. It's clearly for my son's 16th birthday. The Texas say them all. They're, they, they're in a row with pictures of the dog and everything, where I live at. What it, the initial thing is what it's for. And, because we were supposed to get two at the time, it also shows where it says, is the man with you coming to get a girl? He didn't need, he just figured he was just going to steal the dog. I was an easy target. He was just going to steal this dog and just get away with it. But you forgot.
God don't like ugly for one, and for two, the evidence shows that this, this dog was clearly bought for my son. Not even for me, it's my son's dog, a kid. I couldn't believe this. What kind of bum would do this to a kid? But it's right here if you read them. You can't get away with that. The dog, I don't have the dog anymore <laughs> because, Your Honor, What did you do with the dog? That's crazy. The dog was not licensed in Monroe County. It was paid illegally and it wasn't licensed and I had to turn the dog back in. To where? Turn him into where? To the shelter, Listen, to the pound. This is foolishness. That's it's where it went. It went to the you shelter and it went to the pound. Of my skin. You, you okay. I couldn't, I didn't have All right. I do see evidence that she bought the dog or arranged for this purchase of the dog for her son. And that I think is irrefutable. And I do think that would cause, well, it obviously has caused her distress. So for the emotional distress, $377. And is there any evidence of what you paid on the vet bill? He has the vet bills because okay. they really, he stole them. I am finding for the plaintiff in the sum of $377. You're a piece of work.